In this video, we are going to demonstrate running the quintessential Blink sketch. The Blink sketch is usually the first sketch any user of an Arduino or ChipKit board runs to both verify they can program the board as well as control an output. In this video, we are going to do it with a Pontec Quick240. Because the Quick240 uses the built-in USB controller of the microchip PIC32 microcontroller, the board cannot be programmed without first enabling the bootloader. The bootloader is enabled by installing a jumper in the load position of JP1. The board can be powered using an external 24 volt DC power supply, or for this example simply from the 5 volt power provided on the USB cable from the USB host computer running MPIDE. Next, launch MPIDE. From the file menu, select Examples, then 1 Basics, then Blink. Next, from the Tools menu, select Board, then Pontec, then Pontec Quick240. Next, we need to identify the serial port that the Quick240 will be assigned when plugged into the host computer. This is easy to do. Before plugging in the Quick240, go to the Tools menu and select the serial port list and make note of all existing assigned serial ports on the computer. If the serial port menu is grayed out, then there are no serial devices connected at this time. Next, plug in a USB cable to your PC and the Quick240. Notice on the Quick240 that LED1 starts flashing rapidly. This rapid flashing is an indication that we are in the bootloader. If you do not see this rapid flashing, the bootloader jumper is probably not installed correctly. Next, from the Tools menu, select Serial Port. Note that a new serial port will have been added that was previously not available. This is the connection that we need to select in order to upload the Blink sketch to the Quick240. If a new serial port does not appear, you may need to install drivers located in the indicated folder. Next, click the Upload button and the Blink sketch will compile and upload to the Quick240. While uploading, LED1 will blink rapidly as the program is uploaded to the board. Once complete, you will hear an indication from the PC that the serial port has disconnected and the Blink sketch will start blinking at a rate of 0.5 Hz, or on for one second, off for one second. Next, we will modify the sketch to alternatively control LED1 and LED2, cycle power, and re-upload.